Dr. Jones, welcome to Conversations in Public Relations. You know, every year, Washington Women in Public Relations honors the Washington PR Woman of the Year. And today, we're very fortunate to have the 2008 winner on the show with us. Help me in welcoming Marilyn Dean Mandel, the president of Win Spin CIC. Marilyn, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Now tell us, Marilyn, when you were named PR Woman of the Year, can you describe your feelings that day? What happened? I had my son in the audience. He came down from New York. I had very, all my clients, my friends were there. They probably filled up two tables. I, I really didn't think I was going to get it. It was my second time being nominated. And when I did, I was full of shock. I was just, I can't believe really happening you know and it um, I had a great um, introduction about me and it was so warm and everything about it just made me feel so happy and I've, I've really um, I've had this experience of being woman of the year once before in another place and then in another place and it never had the experience that I had with this one now, tell us, how has the experience of being named PR Woman of the Year affected you personally or professionally? I uh, sent out an announcement card to my database, which is enormous, and I got phone calls from people that I haven't heard from in 10 years, and uh, people that I would never have even expected to call me. There's been a lot of support from my clients. They've been very happy for me. I. I think that it has gotten me uh, some more exposure already, which it's been a very short period of time. And my experience in the past is that this has generally brought me more, more business, more clients. So uh, it's, uh, it's very nice. Marilyn, you are an inspiration to others. Who inspired you in your career and how did this affect you or influence you? It's funny, I was just asked to get my book published this year and my publisher has asked me the same question and so I've been thinking of it lately and I was thinking who would I dedicate the book to usually it's children or family and Judy Moses is somebody who spent hours with me years ago maybe 20 years ago editing my work and inspiring me to write and getting me out there writing the first articles um, Bill Cunningham with Good Morning America he, he got me into working on television and doing spots and things like that. And then Myrna Young with Every Woman Opportunity Center years ago helped me and supported me thinking about going to college and what my career was. And there have been many, many people, including my children today. Uh, that I learn from them. They inspire me by what they're doing. So those are the main people I think in my life, but there have been hundreds of people and saying thank you and being appreciative to those people I think is what has catapulted me in my career, a positive attitude but also being incredibly grateful and remembering these people. Some say we learn more from our failures than our successes. Do you recall an instance where something didn't go the way you planned? How did you overcome that? And, and what did you learn from that experience? My mother used to say, be glad you have troubles, they, they strengthen your character. And I think that in my life there have been personal setbacks where I've been a single mother raising children and trying to start a business that have made me stronger and made me creative and it's also uh, given me an opportunity to take mentorship from other people that I might not have ever had before if I hadn't been in that position. I think that there have been times when I've lost clients at very important times or I've had to fire a client and all of those give you a different perspective and they make you stronger. They they give you that opportunity to be creative and to think about new ways of what you can do, how you can recreate yourself. So if you don't get accepted by the publisher the first time, there's always another publisher or a different way to show something. 
and I always look at it as a positive. Anytime I fail at something, it gives me an opportunity to learn how I did fail and what I can do to do something differently to succeed. And I would say in my career, there are very few things that I haven't attempted to do that I haven't accomplished. That's not a positive way of saying it, but ultimately that is what happens. Marilyn, what qualities or skills do you think women in public relations need to be successful? I think integrity. Everybody always says, you know, being there is 90% of whatever it is. Uh, attitude is enormous. A positive attitude is huge. So just those general characteristics right there are important. And then on top of that, how they approach the job in the way that I approach the job I do it from an umbrella standpoint where everything that I do with my clients ultimately has to do with public relations. So I go in with change management and they might think of it that way as an umbrella approach where I encourage my clients to get to know the media themselves personally. I also encourage my clients to network in a different way and how they do events at their organizations. Everything is geared towards getting media attention. So it's really internally changing that client to get the external exposure from public. Do you feel women in public relations face any particular challenges or offer any strengths to the profession? Of course, as a woman, I think we are the strongest of the strong. I think women have a renaissance approach to life so I think that gives women a leg up over men because they can connect the dots in so many different ways than men do normally men are siloed or tunnel visioned about certain things where women are looking at everything all sorts of details colors da la la everything and I do think that gives them a very strong advantage I still think that women are not uh, being educated in the business realm of negotiation skills and uh, listening skills that men are, are taught in the schools that they go to. So I, I think that there are certain things that women still need to learn in the business realm. Marilyn, thank you so much for being with us today. It's really been wonderful. I appreciate it.